So one of the things that really surprised me today was uh, you showed a deleted scene um, from your episode, oh, yeah. which was, I mean, obviously like, again, that episode is so fantastic, um, but that scene is so beautiful Exciting. and great. Mm -hmm. And it kills me that it's only gonna be seen in this room. Uh -huh. Can you sort of, for people that weren't in the room, can you sort of talk about what the what that scene was yeah. and um, what it meant to you? Yeah, so the scene that, that, that was shown here that was deleted, which by the way, I had kind of forgotten about because it was such a long time ago. So it was really nice for me to see it and it felt brand new again. But it was a scene where it's a continuation of of myself and Dream walking and talking through London. And, you know, he's going about, he's, he's with me on a day of work, right? He's like, you know, bring your kid to work day. Um, <laughs> and um, in that scene, what we talk about is, you know, death goes through her job and, and she expects, what she does obviously get resistance. And so what she talks about is she decided to, to experience what she does. So she lived for a day and then met herself. You know, she was she was taken, it. She, she had her amount of time. And um, I think that uh, that scene or that, that part that we've taken from the comic is so key to who death is. And the reason why she's so compassionate is because she understands, because she went through it. So she understands that no one is ready at the end because she herself being deaf and knowing what was gonna happen still didn't feel ready to go. It's fa a fantastic scene. Uh, I really do hope that Neil and people reconsider.